the upper eyelids can droop for a lot of reasons, but the most common reason that I take care of is the fact that the muscle that pulls our eyelid open uh, stretches over time, sometimes separates from where it should be attached. So when it, can, when it opens your eye and you're looking straight ahead, um, gradually over time the lid does not open as far. And so you're gradually not seeing as much as is out there. Um, and eventually it gets low enough that when you look down to read, the lid wants to shut or you're, you're seeing only part of what you should. Um, the eye waters more because you're trying to keep it open. Um, and so surgery on that means shortening that tendon up and adjusting it during surgery. And so we, those, those patients are awake and um, we numb their eyelids there, you know, first, but when we get the muscle in position, then we sit them up and we have to relax and tighten stitches to get the curve right and the height right. And um, it's a very, it's one of those things that is um, also something that's in the moment. You have to really um, adjust for that particular person's face and eye movements and try to get the most natural appearance of those muscles and not get them too high or too low or you know get them to work as well as they should and you know there's people that come in that you know they uh, haven't read a book for you know a year and they come back six weeks after surgery and they've read three books they're big readers you know and so those kind of things matter a lot to people especially the less active you get as you get older sometimes the more you want to do things that are sedentary like reading handwork you know there's a lot of things like that so it makes a big difference for people